So I've been telling people for a while now that Ryan Garcia was uh going to go into 2024 looking for big fights. Uh, this year he wanted to just be a little more active. He was looking to fight one or two times uh more this year after the Tank Davis fight. But Ryan Garcia is definitely um trying to put himself in a position with Devin Haney for a bigger fight. It might be just negotiations at this point because a lot of things got to happen right as far as uh, networks and different things like that, promoters. A lot of these promoters don't like to make fights, uh, certain fights with certain companies and certain people. That's why sometimes a lot of guys have to uh, go to other places to make certain fights happen. That's why you see now with Ryan Garcia, uh, he's already made himself available for uh, for the uh, Roley Romero fight, uh, for a rematch with Tank. He's basically called out everybody. And um, people could say, well, he's just talking and all that things. Well, he wasn't just talking when he made the Tank fight happen. Ryan Garcia made that fight happen. And if Ryan Garcia has another big fight with Devin Haney or someone like that, and the fact that he's negotiating after Haney has said something to Tank Davis, that's not a good look for Tank Davis. Sorry to tell y'all. Because y'all because y'all always saying that so-and-so ducking Tank. And I don't like, that's why I say I don't like the ducking word, because when it comes back around, like, why is, Ryan Garcia negotiating with uh Devin Haney right now. Or why is he trying to negoti negotiate with Devin Haney, Rolo Romero, and all these other guys? And people will say, well, it's not real. They haven't even signed anything yet. Bro, Tank said the Rolo, uh, Rolo Romero fight wasn't real. And he ended up fighting him. He didn't want to get in the ring with him, but ended up getting in the ring with him. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody finna sit here and tell me Roley is a better fighter than Devin Haney. Can't even. So don't even do it. People try to tell me like, oh, well, Devin Haney's ducking Tank. But Tank was losing rounds to Roley. People thought Roley was winning the fight, but Roley was actually winning rounds against Tank. Man, come on, man. And then, so Devin Haney now, he's in a position now where he's top dog. Because at this point now, he called out Roley before Tank fought Roley. If people don't know that. Devin was trying to fight Roley, and he was trying to fight uh, Tia Fimo before Tank even went to 140. The first time. So a lot of these fights that people saying, oh, well, uh, Tank fought Roley and he fought Ryan. Those aren't big fights to, uh, to, uh, to Tank. Those aren't big fights to Tank. As far as the numbers it is, but he don't look at Ryan as top competition. Because from what I've seen, he said they're going to uh uh Ryan Garcia after uh talk after Devin Haney talking to him. That's running. So obviously he doesn't think Ryan Garcia is top competition. But when Tank fight him, he top competition though. You know what I'm saying? Then I just heard people two weeks ago saying, and I just made videos about all this. Ryan Garcia is not good enough to uh be in the same position as Tank and. Um, Ryan Garcia doesn't fight anybody. He looks terrible. Now, Ryan Garcia got all these fights. And it took Tank uh, beating him for y'all to see that he wasn't on a certain level. So, y'all talking about how big the fight was. Y'all begged for uh, Tank to fight Ryan Garcia. Begged him. Oh, that's the only fight we want to see. Fight Ryan Garcia. He fight Ryan Garcia. Nah, it ain't good enough. The fans really ruining everything. Really is. Because earlier this year, y'all said Devin Haney was the weakest person. He didn't want to fight nobody. Then, two weeks ago, we said Ryan, Ryan Garcia is a bum, and 
He don't got no defense, and he ain't getting better. He getting worse. And Derrick James, the only fighter that he got, and uh, I mean, uh, the only fighter Derrick James got is Ryan, and narrative be going away when you do negotiations, bro. When you start saying, "Hey, I want to fight so and so," all that stuff going away. All that stuff going away. That's why I can't really argue with none of the people that um. I don't really say too much about Tank because I've been saying this for years, bro. I already been knowing all this stuff that been going on. I already been knowing. But it's the same thing that Canelo does. So it's like, if nobody has a problem with Canelo doing it, why should we have a problem with Tank does it? And then when we bring up, well, Canelo, he ain't fought this person or we, we want him to fight. Well, that guy ain't do the right numbers and... It's about pay-per-views and numbers and things like that. Mind you, Lomachenko, 34 years old, had his first, uh, 34, 35, had his first pay-per-view with uh, Devin Haney, but other people need to have numbers numbers and things like that. That's systematic racism. Just going to be honest with you. That's systematic racism because according to the system, if Devin Haney is in the same position as Ryan was, uh, last time I checked, Ryan went undisputed champion. Ryan's not on pound for pound, so it's like Ryan deserved to fight, Roly deserved to fight, uh, but Devin Haney he's not in that position. That's why I said Ryan Garcia is exposing everything, and Ryan Garcia Garcia is in secret competition with Canelo Alvarez for big fights. He could say, "Oh yeah, me and Canelo, we cool and all that stuff." Ryan want bigger fights than Canelo. Around May time, or close to May, when spring comes around, Ryan won a bigger fight. Ryan had a bigger fight last year. If y'all don't realize that, y'all gonna mess around and let Ryan become uh, Oscar De La Hoya Jr. in a minute. Because, a second coming of Oscar De La Hoya, because if he start fighting all kind of guys, and if he just have a 500 record in big fights, if he start fighting all kind of different guys, though, I'm gonna uh, put him in a different category. Because all my favorite boxers ain't undefeated. I'm going to start putting him in a different category. I already got him on my uh uh on, on nice list right now because uh he already been doing a lot of things this year that's been showing that guys really aren't trying to do anything. And let me ask y'all a question. So Devin Haney ducking Tank, Tia Fimo, and Ryan Garcia ducking Tank, uh, not T, Ryan Garcia ducking Tia Fimo, Matias, and Devin Haney ducking uh, all these guys that y'all talking about, and Ryan Garcia ducking all these guys so they can fight each other. So y'all think they ducking the air? They doing all this ducking so they can fight each other? <laughs> yeah, all right, man. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. If y'all say that, okay. But like I've said though, for some reason, if Ryan Garcia gets uh. Uh, if Ryan Garcia gets Devin Haney in the ring, man, the fact that he even doing negotiations right now, let me know that he's the reason. Ryan Garcia is right, bro. Ryan, Ryan Garcia, the last 12 months, Ryan Garcia been speaking more facts than Tank. Because Ryan Garcia said, oh, I'm the reason why the fight got made. If I wanted to accept, accept the uh, stipulation, uh, if I wanted to uh, accept the rehydration clause for, for uh, for Tank, um, the fight would have never even happened. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? The rehydration clause. That's what really goes on. And he like, oh, and everybody like rehydration clause. What Ryan talking about? Because Ryan was talking during the negotiations, so people really wouldn't understand what he was talking about. But now it goes to see that. Uh, it goes to show that uh, these guys aren't really trying to do anything. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these guys, they really just trying to promote themselves, get the big bag, and wait on a lot of guys. You know what I'm saying? Tank, um, he's doing a good job uh, promoting himself, but he's not uh, in a position right now where he's going to jump in the ring with Devin Haney or somebody. You know what I'm saying? And Ryan Garcia has already said about how he wants to be active and stuff, certain things like that. I've been saying this for a year now. And 
well, not a year now, because I haven't had the channel a year, but I've been saying that off the record a year, but technically I've been saying it three months. He wants the big fights, man. A lot of these people uh, are holding back the divisions. You got people still talking about uh, other fights at 140, like Catterall and Josh Taylor. Guys are trying to make uh, domestic fights, you know what I'm saying? Like, People aren't trying to make worldwide fights. They're trying to make domestic fights. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but Devin Haney is showing a lot of different things right now. He's fighting. Other guys are talking. Ryan Garcia is fighting. Other guys are talking. No talking. They ain't doing none of that, man. That's why I said a lot of these guys they ain't really trying to do nothing. Really not trying to even do nothing. I hate that uh, Tank even fought half of these guys. Because some of these guys, people didn't even know before he fought them. That's facts. Half of these guys, people didn't even know who they were. They're like, who's this guy? None of them know who he was. That's why when Haney was calling out that, uh, Roland Romero, I'm like, anybody going to call? Talk about uh, Haney calling out Roland Romero. Man, people didn't even know who Roley was. That's how long ago that was. When Roley, it was so far, bro. Devin Haney called out Tia Fimo and Roley so long ago that boxing fans didn't even know who Haney was. Like the casuals knew who Tia Fimo was before Haney because he was on ESPN. So now, right now, they having all kind of, oh, Haney beat Progray? Oh, uh, well, he still lost to Lomachenko. Tia Fimo should have lost to Lomachenko because he was getting waxed them last couple of rounds. And I had money on it, and I was going for Tia Fimo. I was like, man, Tio, come on, dog, pull this off. Man, them last couple of rounds, people talking about some Haney had some close rounds with Loma in the 12th and the 11th and the 10th. Man... Tia Fimo was getting blasted, and he had a black eye after the fight. Bro, I'm tired of hearing about these 140s, bro. I'm tired of hearing about it. If you're at 140 and you can't find an opponent, that's your fault and your promoters. They're protecting you, and they don't want you to fight the hard fight. That's all it is. That's all it's going to be. Ryan Garcia already fought Tank, so y'all, he ain't got to take no hard fights. You other guys at 140, you definitely do. He's just foiling you. And I've been saying videos about it. Y'all can go back and type in Ryan Garcia. I've been saying this in like six, seven videos of Ryan Garcia. And I don't have that many Ryan Garcia videos. But I just stick to the facts. Guys are trying to make fights, trying to make fights. And other guys, they just trying to relax. But that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.